Hello, my Geminis. Helene from Heart House Astrology here. Well, we have an intense and, you know, powerful month starting off with a Aries full moon. And for you, this is in the area of friendships and groups, group associations. Um, and, you know, it's with Chiron. So, you know, there could be that you're, you know, you're really feeling hurt by uh, an exchange with a friend that you thought, uh, you know, was a close friend, um, you know, and so there just could be something that shows up that you're realizing like this person is not empowering to me, you know, that they're really not supporting me. And, and I think this has been going on a, a while. I did speak of it last month, but it, it does continue and it kind of culminates at the start of the month. So that's something to just keep in mind. Now on the second, we have Venus that moves into Virgo. And for you, Virgo is your fourth house. So, you know, despite whatever's going on between groups and friends, um, associations, that kind of thing, you're feeling good. You know, you're not gonna let anyone get you down. Venus in this deep part of your chart is, is giving you some um, inner strength um, to, you know, feel good and, you know, be in charge of your own feelings on that and not take it so personally. Um, it's also a really good time to beautify your home. So if you, um, are into redecorating or that sort of thing, that, that would be fun. You know, something so socializing, if it's possible at home would also be fun. Now on the fourth, Pluto's going direct. Um, so you could start to feel more empowered now, you know, it's been retrograde and you've kind of had this square with Mars with this groups of friends. So, and, and it's continuing through the month. Um, but you know, despite this, I think you're going to feel more empowered, um, and taking your power back on that. Now we have a Mercury retrograde on the 13th in the sign of Scorpio. And for you, that's your sixth house. So, um, you know, it's like work projects, like go back to the drawing board, a lot of documents, um, you know, redoing things, that sort of thing. So really be really like precise and um, review it like three times before sending it in because that's how the Mercury retrograde for you is, is in work, in the work area. Um, of course, no signing new work contracts that wouldn't be advised and give yourself um, extra time for commuting to work and also be mindful of communications with coworkers as well. <laughs> so then we have the Libra new moon and that's on the 16th and it does make, you know, it does make a square um, over to Saturn there, but let's see for you the Libra new moon is in the area of romance so you know this could be a new beginning you know you might be finding yourself um, attracted to a different kind of person than um, you have in the past if you are single and that's okay I would explore that for sure Venus will be going into Libra um, on the 27th so this is the area of romance for you. And so I would say, you know, this is a good time to go out and date. If you've been single for a while and want to put yourself out there again, I, I do feel like the energy um, is really good for that. But on the 27th, also Mercury retrograde is dipping back into Libra, which is your fifth house. So some of you could hear from an ex. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying you could hear from someone from your past, a romantic partner. Um, so, so, you know, maybe there's some, something more to explore. Um, but you do have that, you know, fun romantic vibe going on. So I would take advantage of that. And if you are, um, you know, taken, this would be a great time to just have a little more date nights and things like that. Could also be great for creative projects and uh, spending time doing fun things with your children. And then we have um, from the 18th through the 24th that Venus is trining Jupiter and Pluto uh, and Saturn. And for you, this is between that fifth house and eighth house. So 
Yeah, something's going on. That's the house of romance and the house of intimacy. So I do feel like there's something going on romantically for some Geminis uh, to have some really deep connections, uh, possibly some sexy time. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I think you guys will like that. Um, we are ending the month on the 31st with a second full moon, which is the blue moon. Yeah, once in a blue moon, we have a Halloween blue moon. That's pretty cool. Uh, and it's with the planet Uranus. So for you, this is in finance. You could get an unexpected surprise, uh, financial surprise. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, be open. It's exciting and fun uh, time. So, you know, there are some challenges, you know, but I do think you're, you know, going to feel strong and empowered and um, let go what needs to let go and, you know, m make room for some positive, fun things in your life. Thanks for watching, Gemini. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you watching. Bye.